Hello all, my name is Eric, this is Yap Sessions, and today I'll be talking about why I started my physical collection of films. Film has become the media that everyone has indulged in, whether you watch movies on Netflix, Tubi, or even those weird pop-up sites on the internet, you've indulged in the art of cinema and or film. Today in the age of streaming platforms, there's become a sort of monopoly on films. For example, HBO Max, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, and many others dominate that market, which eventually gives them influence over the distribution of the films that we as viewers want to watch. Don't get me wrong, this isn't a I hate streaming rant, but the big corporations control what we can and cannot watch through their own streaming platforms. Even if you are for streaming, the price hikes of these platforms have been a massive. Streaming was once marketed and branded as the quote unquote cheaper than cable version, but now that's no longer the case. And if you're like me, it's hard to enjoy and watch film being held back by the prices of all of these streaming sites. To add on, even if you do adhere and start using streaming sites, we sometimes cannot find the movie that we want to watch. And sometimes this movie can be on another platform that we don't have, or it can't be on streaming platforms at all. Or there's the only reason we can buy it is on YouTube if we wanna rent or buy it. And who wants to watch a movie through YouTube? In an attempt to change this, I started to collect my own collection of DVDs and Blu-rays. I started collecting DVDs and Blu-rays last month in August. I told myself in July that I was going to get more into film and I wanted to really become a cinephile, if I would like to say. Um, and I thought a more effective way would be is to get a DVD player. So this turned out to me buying my first DVD player from a Goodwill Electronics section. Now today behind me, I have a total of 33 collected films. And it's just something different about watching films on a disc. Not only is it sometimes a different look, but the features of DVDs are really cool. Special features like director commentary, behind the scenes, actor interviews, and plenty of more. Through this journey of collecting films, I've realized why I love cinema and film. The rush and excitement I get from watching one or two films a day from my collection and the long the longing to log them into my letterbox right after is just very exciting and fun. Along with this, I learned about the Criterion Collections. This is a company um, that has a home video and they distribute special collecting films from like Kurosawa, or Spike Lee, or almost any other director you have heard of. Myself, I don't have a career team collection. I will soon. <laughs> yes, there are many perks to collecting films, but I also wanted to share some of the negatives. Sometimes the price point of this can be concerning there's no way there's no reason why i should go to a secondhand store and the price of dvd should be more than five dollars just just like that's it five dollars another one can be that some of the older discs that i have are very low quality which i know for my streaming buffs that need the 4k streaming you might not like but in contrast there are available 4k blu-rays if needed. In contrast, Blu-rays and DVDs can be a cheap, cost-effective way to keep alive physical media, easy ways to watch films that may be unavailable on streaming sites, and it's also a nostalgic way to enjoy cinema. Overall, go to Goodwill, get you a Blu-ray player or DVD player for about $15, maybe even $10 a few DVDs for $5 and call it a day. Keep physical media alive because we never know when it'll be the time for it not to be available for us. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another Yap Sessions, a conversation on why I started my physical media collection um, with my films. Um, behind me, I'm going to start reviewing some of them and actually talking about them. Um, I mean, I gotta use them since I bought them. But um, follow me on all platforms as well as liking and subscribing to the channel. That's it. Let's go create. Peace.